Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and in uh, this uh, video I will show you how you can make uh, these uh, photo cube uh, boxes that I showed in the previous video. So uh, here I'm using Graphic 45 uh, Precious uh, Memories and um, this was the one I filmed. So uh, if you didn't see the previous video I will show you a bit in the beginning here how it works. So this can be displayed, uh, you can use it as a um, um, shower gift or uh, yeah and uh, place a gift inside. So here I have a little a teddy bear with a little a box. So this is made the same way as the lid here. So it can be displayed open. So maybe move this out of the way and show you a bit more of uh, this one that I filmed. So here it's uh, put all uh, together. So we can see, um, yeah, it's quite dimensional on the top here. So inside here is a uh, little album and uh, here I placed, I showed uh, how to place the magnet but place it the other way here. So it would be right here I did uh, place them so this came upside down. But I think it's okay. So it opens by pulling this out. So and there is a mini album inside here for the box. So we can maybe show you the top here first. It's magnetized here. So this pulls up and then this can be placed on the top like so. So then we can fold this out so you can see it like so. And here is a lot of room for photos. I think you can uh, uh, have uh, 24 uh, photos here. And you can also have uh, one inside uh, the lid here if you like to. So, yeah. So, we'll show you a bit how it works. So, see what side I have up here. So, uh, you can fold it from each uh, side. You can fold it from this side or you can fold it up uh, this side here if you like to. So, I can show you on this side here. So, and it's uh, magnetized. So, and if you don't want to use uh, magnets here, you can make one uh, other lid on uh, the bottom here. So um, then you can put uh, the other lid inside here if you want to fold up the album. So here is how it looks and with the lid. So then I will start the tutorial. So we will start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And here you need to use a good uh, quality of uh, paper because it's going to fold all the ways. So I'm using uh, Basil and it's a walnut cream and it's item number uh, 302243. And I will write it in the description box below. So then we are going to score at 4 on all four sides. You can also score at 4 and 8 but if it's not precise um, 12 it's better to turn it around so you know you get all uh, um, this uh, the same. So we score 4 inch 4 times on all sides here. So, and then we are going to cut into, I'm not sure you can see the red lines here, um, I like to cut into a bit uh, on the side of the scoring line here. So take this out of the way and then we can start cutting into here, here, here and here. So that's because then it will fold much more easy and uh, also you don't have to have this uh, scoring line on the ed end of the side here. Turn it around. And I go a bit just over the score line here when I cut into it. I can just cut off this tiny small bits here.
so now you maybe can see it's a bit of a gap in between here. So then we can start uh, folding it. So now I'm folding this over and I'll be sure to try to meet up here. So, and the next one. Meet up in the end here. So going to fold it from the other side. So meet up in the end. So, and. Uh, I forgot to tell you, you can also make this box uh, wider in the middle, just score at three around or three and a half or two or anything you like. So you can make it as wide as you like it. But then you have to make the lid a bit wider as well. So then we can fold it up. So, And if you are afraid it will break, you can uh, take a tape uh, a strip here and here on the folding lines. So then we fold this up. And this up and this over. So maybe we can start with uh, taking some magnets on first here on the sides here. So here I have some magnets that I've taken some uh, score tape on and this I got from an eBay seller. So I have a link to the seller below. It's really affordable magnets. Now I just have to check here. So I put it in here so that I do for all these four sides. I just have to check now it's this the next one. And the next here. And I've taken some pictures uh, from the previous I made so uh, you will find it with the magnets how I place them on my blog. And there you will find all the measurements also, so I have a link below. So then we can start folding up here. So, and fold. so I think I forgot to fold. So, shorten it up. So, and now I'm not sure how it shows up in the camera from this angle here, but I will take a magnet behind this one. it up here so this will meet inside here and so and now you maybe can't see it do like so so it's best to have it down when you do this so you know you got it straight and press and then you have the magnet here on this side here so that we continue with that for all four sides the magnet here. So, and then we also want it to fold uh, the other opposite way. So then we fold this out and this one out. So now we're going to have a magnet on here. And then we press it over this way here. you doing that the next one also. And now for the last one. So and uh, then you can uh, fold this over each other like so and on the other side like so and place it in the lid if you like to. 
so then I will show you how to make uh, the lid. So here I cut out uh, 11 and 1 quarter by 6 and a quarter. So if you want to have the flap on the top you cut it uh, like this or if you just want a lid you cut it at 6 and a quarter by 6 and a quarter and score uh, 1 inch around. And if you don't want to use a magnet to hold it together here you can also make a smaller lid that you cut at 6 and uh, uh, 1 8 by 6 and 1 8 and score at 1 inch uh, on each side so then you have a lid on the uh, bottom as well to hold it uh, together because if you don't use the magnets here to hold it uh, uh, together it can uh, start flipping out on the side here so then we will score at 1 inch 5 and a quarter 6 and a quarter and 10 and a half and we'll flip it around and score at 1 inch on each side just to make sure I get it uh, 1 inch on each side if you don't cut it the precise maybe 1 millimeter over or so so, and if you see uh, this X here, we are going to cut off and all these measurements again you will find on my blog. So I like to go a bit on an angle here and I go on the inside of the score line here. So. That's the same we cut on the box inside of the score line. So. so, we cut this away and straight up here on the inside of the score line. And also straight up here. off a bit here and then it's more easy to fold it. So, do the same on this side here. So then we can start folding it. here and then we can glue it together and here I'm using a scotch quick dry uh, glue I, think I find this really good but I don't like the tip on it it's uh, get too much glue out of it so I'm using this uh, fine tip uh, bottle that I got in a, from a seller in the UK so I will link to the shop uh, as well below if you like to uh, um, buy one of these they are really great and helpful so I fill it up with um, the glue and also a bit of water a tiny bit of water so also good to have a wet clothes nearby so then we can glue it together and here I like to use some uh, clips to hold it together and this you can find in the hardware store so I just hold it like so for now because this is just for showing clips to hold it so I'm sure it gets well glued. So, so this is uh, the box and now you can uh, put this inside. We have it as a little tiny little mini album. Or you can use it uh, as I'm going to show you a bit uh, of uh, how I decorate this as well. So uh, then I want this to go the opposite way up here. And then I need some more magnets here. So um, 
Let's see, I have some with some glue on here or scotch tape. You can also use uh, uh, this uh, glossy accent to glue the magnets down with if you like to. I've taken this on the back side as well, but uh, it's going to be. I'm going to have something heavy on top here, so then I like to um, be, uh, the magnets to be as strong as possible. So, so now it looks like this on the top, and I can maybe show you the other magnets I'm going to have here as well. Here I cut out a frame. I didn't have uh, uh, this from the paper line, so I used this from the good old spot and uh, just covered it with paper and cut around it. So here I already I placed the two magnets. So I just cut a little frame. I used some, uh, the same cardstock here just to um, yeah, outline it a bit. So I placed the two magnets here. I want this to stand on top here. And I can maybe show you on the lid I'm going to use because here it's uh, some marks and so. So here is the other lid with the magnets here and I will also place this with the magnets on top here so then I might need to see where I want it about. Let's see where the magnet comes here on the back so I know I get some paper on. So it doesn't go all the way to the end here so you need to have the paper to glue down. So then I think can. So here I've taken off uh, the, uh, yeah, the score <laughs> tape here, so it's glue on the back, so I can just place them down here. So, and then I think I also would have this on the outside when we close it up here, about on the middle. So then I need two more magnets. So I'm using a lot of uh, magnets here, but these uh, magnets are really affordable for the eBay seller. So. so, and we have uh, all the magnets uh, placed here, so we can maybe show you how it looks. So, so this is uh, the base for it. I will also show you a bit uh, how you can uh, decorate it a bit more if you like to follow along. So then we will start with a box, I think. So here I cut the panels uh, down to uh, almost one quarter inch uh, um, smaller because we want to make sure that it will fold over all the ways, that it doesn't build up uh, on the edges here. So I cut it a bit uh, larger than three and three quarter, I think. So, and here, here I cut out the frame, and uh, now I'm not sure, I think it was from the 12x12. 12 12. Some of them are from the 12x12 12 12 and some from uh, the 8x8, 8 8. and this is from the 6x6. 6 .6. So, just to look for the frames that fits, if you like to make it precise. And also I have covered up the, um, the pink roses here, because I'm uh, going for just the blue and the uh, green and yellow. So it's a bit of pink around here, but yeah. So I want this to be a pocket, so I will just uh, glue it down on the sides. So you see here I cut out uh, two, so I placed uh, this precious memories inside. I also placed a little butterfly here. So we will just uh, glue it on the sides here. So, and I also uh, made a tag to go inside, so I think I will place it here so I know it's enough room, it doesn't build up so much, so I think I could have placed it in after as well. So, here about. So. And I also have a fussy cut t a tutorial if you're not familiar with it, so I will link uh, to it below. And uh, this uh, tag shape here, 
can show you maybe here I made some uh, tag shapes so I have a tutorial on how to make uh, these also so I will link to that as well below so let me can put this inside here so I can maybe show you the other panels here so this one uh, with a small frame and this I think was from the 8x8 these frames here so I want these to go around the box here so we can start on this side here so maybe I have to cut off a bit of the end here see I was a bit on the outside so. Here you can use any type of glue you like to score tape or yeah. So then we line it up here. So we need to press it a bit down with uh, where the magnet is. And then I will continue go around with uh, these uh, other panels here. So now I've glued them all around and then we can start uh, on the other side here. That flips this way here. So here I have um, already three of them so and also have a frame here and now I'm not sure it shows uh, up but it's a frame here and I glued on some flowers here so and I also want to cover up uh, this uh, flowers here so I can maybe show you a bit here I'm using multi-mat uh, far too much so just glue on some flowers here just to cover it up a bit so now we can glue this on here so then I need to measure a bit see where I cut the other ones here try to get the flowers on each side and it's a boy in the middle here so I can cut off the rest here so now this is ready to be so I'm going to glue it on the back side of here should be magnetized on this side so flip this open we do that for all so then I can take it on this side the next one so I have taken two of each here with different backgrounds and different frames continue with this one that's the same as this one so we open this up so flip this this way and this this way so then we are going to have this here so I will continue uh, gluing this on so now I uh, glued all four down so then we can flip out uh, these sides here start to decorate it a bit in the inside so I think we will uh, start on uh, this side here first so I cut out some panels here so I want this to go inside here 
and uh, then we will see what I'm going to have in the middle. I'm going to have a frame here. So I will glue these uh, panels on here and then I will be back. So now I've glued them on and it's only the middle part here left. And here I want the frame around, so move this a bit to the side. So here I cut off from the two from the 12 by 12. So we're going to make this to fit here. So I think I will just glue this on these sides here and place this over. Be a bit precise here so they meet up here. So then I will cut this off and go under here. So the same for the other side here. And here I see I didn't cut off the outside, but I've cut out uh, this first, but now I have a cut it to size already so it's too late to move it so see how we do that usually mistakes can be done over with so I think I have to see here or maybe I have to find a new frame so I think it will work So then we can glue down the sides here. So you get to see all the mistakes I'm doing here. Every time I create I do some mistakes. But usually it can be fixed. So I need to cut this off here. can glue this down on the middle. So and then we can be decorated with uh, some flowers around here if I like to so I'll see if I do that later you see that in the finish video and then we can take the other side so here I also have some panels Let's see what we're going to use here So all these solids are from the 6x6 six six, uh, paper. Maybe a dark one. No, I go for this one, so then I will just glue this on, on <laughs> off camera. So now I've glued them all down and I can be decorated with uh, some more flowers. Or you can just leave them for journaling or photo mats here. So then we can uh, fold it up, up and see how it uh, works here. So so like so on the back side we maybe flip it the other way here. So so then it's a tiny little album. So then we can decorate a bit on the lid. So we will start with the inside of the lid here and here I cut it a bit smaller than four and a quarter to fit it. So we can start gluing this down here. So 
soap and then I cut four pieces that I will glue inside here on each side. So I cut them a bit uh, smaller than four and a quarter by a bit smaller than uh, uh, one inch here. So I can maybe show you one of them here. Inside here, so and then I will continue the other ones. So and this also helps to stiffen up this uh, lid here. So then we can glue this on the top here, and again I cut out the frame and some a butterfly and some fussy cut flowers. So here I just used the score tape just because it's more easy to uh, to uh, glue it down when it's uh, magnets here. So. so about, and I also have a strip on the top here. As well. So, and then we can take uh, the outside here. So, for the top here, I want this paper here. So. on the top here. So and then um, we also need one to go around here and here I cut out two strips of the same paper I have on the top here or yeah. So we can start on the front here and I know I'm going to have an image uh, standing here so I will start here. And I think I need to clean this bottle because now it's uh, stuck. So sometimes you need to clean the tip of uh, the bottle here. So, because it's so thin uh, tip. So, and then I like to take a wet coat so it won't uh, tear, so I just bend it around. Take it a bit more. From the magnet here, so I'm sure I get the glue to well down. So then I will continue around and then I will be back. So I managed to glue this uh, upside uh, down, so but uh, I took it off and uh, luckily I had some more paper, so <laughs> pay attention when you glue this on. So um, and here I just uh, cut it to fit um, on the side here. So then we can fold this up here and now it should stay open or closed with the magnets here. So we can uh, take it on uh, the box here. So I will show you a bit how I'm thinking of decorating this. This I haven't glued down yet because um, I'm going to have this uh, fence here standing and it's more easy to glue this on here first. So well, but I 
but I will show you a bit uh, how I'm going to decorate it. So this is a die from uh, Cottage Cuts. So then I will uh, I just bend it. I cut it out of uh, thin chipboard and then I layered it with the same uh, cardstock. And then I glued on some flowers on the back so it has something to be glued down on. So we'll glue this on an angle like this I think. And then I cut out uh, this beautiful image here. So I also layered it with uh, one more flower here. So I think I will have that here. And here I have a, a little sailboat. And this is uh, made of paper. I can maybe show you it. So, uh, And if you like a tutorial on this, uh, I can maybe uh, make one later. Just uh, give me a week or so. So can stand here and I have some other images so this I maybe will glue down on the side and I also have some uh, I'm not sure the English word I want to create uh, waves maybe in the ocean and the ocean go like this so this I just uh, rolled up I can maybe show you here I just uh, took some paper if I have something thicker here this one and then I wet it down a bit, like so, and took it around a pencil. So just rolled it up, like so. And I left it to dry, just to put a clip over here until it's uh, dried. And then you get this shape here. So I'm not sure I'm going to use it yet, we will see. So, maybe this girl sitting on here. So now it's uh, finished uh, decorated. So I'll give you a quick overview here. Like so. And it also was, um, these flowers and so was um, a pink on the back side. So I just painted it a bit inside and also used my leftover uh, fussy cutouts to uh, place inside here. So. And all the images here I've used uh, multi-matte to uh, stiffen them up so it will last. And also on the back side here I glued on some paper and I cut around. And I also went around with a file or a nail file to smooth up uh, the edges a bit here. So and this uh, little butterfly here is a Nelly Snellen punch. So. So then we can put this on top here. So now it's ready to be given away as a little a gift. So I hope uh, this tutorial was helpful and that you maybe will give it a try. They are really fun to make and uh, you can also make it more easy. You don't have to put all this on top. You can just take a cluster of uh, flowers or so and decorate it a bit. And also if you have any questions please look below the video, just click show more. There you will find the link to my blog where I answer questions and you also will find all the other links. So take care everyone and have fun creating.